at the same time. We call that uh, single pass stereo. It's a capability of SMP. So what single pass stereo means is that as we're going through the pipeline, we're gonna be able to actually generate both of these independent positions at one time. Now that's a, a capability on top of the fact that we can transform these projections. So if, you, if, you, if I drop the lens for a second, let's start talking about VR in general. You all know why there's two projections, right? It's because two eyes, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Um, the question is, what do you see? Well, inside a VR headset, hopefully you guys realize there's a lens. The lens is in there so that you can focus on a screen that's two inches in front of your head. If you didn't have the lens, you'd feel like you, know, you, can't, you can't focus, everything looks blurry and you get headaches. So the big invention of this time's worth of VR is that lens. Now, if you think about it, lenses by their nature distort. So I'm gonna simulate a lens here. Now again, this is just a simulation, it's not perfect. But if I move this lens around, look at what's happening to the image. The square here represents what you would see at the back side of the lens. And if you look at the square, right, as, as I rotate the view around, you see that sort of uh, pin cushiony looking distortion? That distortion is caused by the lens, okay? It has nothing to do with us, it's just, it's just optics. Now, the way VR today works with this is they bend the image and they render this full size. So let me drop the lens again. So you're gonna render this full size image and then you're gonna bend it and you're gonna shrink it down. And that really is waste, right? Because you rendered this full rectangle and you're gonna bend it in so that you're gonna, you can effectively match the distortion of the lens. Um, so a better way to do it is what we call lens mass shading. Indeed. Indeed. So lens mass shading looks exactly like this, right? We're going to, uh, instead of bending, maybe, let's see, please stand by. Yes. Okay, instead of being square, we're gonna distort the, uh, the projection, both projections for the left and the right eye, and we're gonna create these shapes that look exactly like the eventual lens distortion filter that you're gonna run. Okay, so instead of rendering this full rectangle, now we're actually gonna re render just the center part, right? Only where there's a projection do we actually do work. Okay, so that's pretty clear, right? Now at the end of the day, the cool part is if you put a lens on this again, and you look at it, you're rotating around the world with our, our, our now, uh, um, call it SMP, lens match shading shape for the projection, and you can see that it's completely correct. And the big benefit is uh, a little bit better quality, but mostly it's more efficient work. Okay, so for VR, we've got these two things. We've got this um, single pass stereo and lens match shading, both are part of SMP. So Tom, actually just, I, I wanna make sure people can see the sort of how the multi-projection is working here. So could you kind of flip over to the side so we can look at the, those lens shapes a little bit or the, the projection shapes a little bit? Sure, of course. Okay, yeah, so, so you can kind of see here that the, that shape is, is, is basically like four tiles effectively, right? So the, what we're, what we're looking at, what we're doing is we're trying to approximate the, 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 the desired uh, projection for the lens. So the projection you, you want, the perfect projection basically would be actually this kind of this curved shape. It's a little bit curved, kind of like a lens is curved, right? And you want to ideally approximate that as closely as you can. Now obviously a single projection like we would normally do is a very poor approximation of that shape, right? It's, 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 uh, it's correct in the middle, you go off to the sides, it's not matching that lens, that lens shape at all anymore, right? And this shape with, with these four tiles, four separate projections, one sort of tilting off this way, one off this way, one off this way, one off this way, now you have a much more accurate approximation of, of that lens shape. And, and the more accurate approximation of lens shape, the more efficient you're being in the design because you're not, uh, you're not oversampling unnecessarily in the periphery. Uh, you're, you're starting at a very good, at a very good point. So. Okay. See the game on a single monitor. But uh, Sean, if you can rotate to the right, <clears throat> slowly pan to the right. What you're seeing here, go ahead and stop right there. A little bit further to the right, sorry. This is the way games look today. And uh, Jensen, what you can see is on the floor, there's that very clear so can, I sh can I show you guys? Just stop for a second, Sean. So, so Tom, stop for a second, okay? Sure. Can I just show you? You see, you see this right here? That right there? That looks wiki wonky. That's a technical term for that's wrong. That's a technical term for that's wrong. That is clearly wiki wonky. Okay, now, now the way to solve that, the way to solve that, of course, this was originally, remember, this was originally projected into three panels that were all planar. 
And so the original projection is actually correct. And if you sat in the middle of that projection and you look out to that far corner, it actually looks correct and it actually is correct. However, when you now bend the monitors inward so you can actually see it, so that you can actually see it, it the projection is no longer correct. And so, Tom, could you do this? Can you correct it? Absolutely. So, Sean, give me some correction. Dang, right. look at that. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Okay, so, so, what you're, so what you're now seeing, what you're now seeing is essentially out the window. It's almost like you're looking out a window. And this particular window is a, a display next to you. And let's go, to, Tom, can you, can you swipe me to the other side? Yeah, absolutely. Sean, rotate the camera slowly to the left. And let's take a look at the gigantic virtual window into this world. It, it actually dramatically increases your field of view. And you're, it's like you're in this plaza somewhere in Italy, right? It's, it's really just fantastic. And notice the tables aren't warped, the chairs aren't warped. Well, let's, let's uh, go back to the way it was. OK, turn it off, Sean. So oh, cool. no. Uh, <laughs> it's painful. It's painful. Oh no! Please give me simultaneous multi projection. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see. The more geometry you have, of course, the richer the character looks. The more geometry you have, the more lighting you have to do, the more shadowing you have to do, and so the amount of processing is actually quite significant. Now, remember, you're running this on a 1080. This is now the fastest GPU in the world. You're running on a 1080, and now it's. As you can see, there's a little bit of stuttering. Let's take a look at the frame rate counter, please. This is on a 1080 running about 60, 70 frames per second. Now, 60, 70 frames per second is really, really fantastic, but not in VR. When you're in VR and you're, you want to see everything in 90 frames per second, 90 frames per second, so it's silky smooth, so the latency is as short as possible, any stuttering really gives you a little bit you know, kicks you out of, out of that, that sensation of, of virtual presence. And so you really can't afford to have any stuttering. Now let's turn on single pass stereo. Wow. Let's just enjoy this monster. <laughs> let's, Let's just enjoy the presence of this monster. She's so beautiful. Could be a he, could be a she. No, I would not call this Tom. <laughs> hey Tom, I'm not doing this. This is the audience. It's the audience. 96 frames per second, single pass stereo, unbelievable. All of this because of multi-projection. Ladies and gentlemen, some simultaneous multi-projection.